Okay, so let's solve this problem. So find the standard equation of the ellipse with given coordinates of foci and vertex. So first, we need to graph this ellipse. So from the given coordinates of foci, x is positive 4. So in a plane, this one is positive x, negative x, positive y, and negative y. So for x positive 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and y is negative 5, so negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, then negative 5. So this is now the point of the focus. Then the other coordinate of focus, so x is negative 8. So, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, 4, 5, negative 6, negative 7, then negative 8, and y is negative 5, so y negative 5. So, this is now the other point of the focus. Then, for the coordinate of vertex, x is positive 6. So, positive 5 and positive 6. And y is negative 5. So, negative 5. So, this is now the point for the vertex. Then, observe that on this graph, the focus is in horizontal position. So, since the focus is in horizontal position, so this ellipse is a horizontal ellipse and formula for the horizontal ellipse that's x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared then equals 1 so to write now the standard equation so first we need to find the value of h k the a squared and the b squared so to find this h and k from the center of an ellipse since there's no given center, so we can find now the center from the foci. So from this foci, we need to find the center. So we're going to use the counting method. And in counting, you start counting on the next point. So from this point, start counting on the next point. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12, then divide by 2 to find the center, that's 6. So therefore, we need to count 6 to locate the center. So again, from this point, start counting on the next point. So this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this one is the center. So therefore, this is now the center of this ellipse. Then to find the coordinate of the center, so for x, so x is negative 2, and y, that's negative 5. And from the center, this one is h, and this one is k. So h is negative 2, and k is negative 5. Then for a squared, since to solve for a, that's center to vertex. So therefore, from this graph, this one is the vertex and this one is the center. So we're going to count to solve for a. So again, start counting on the next point. So from this point, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So therefore, A is equal to 8. And for A squared, that's 8, then to the power 2. Then to solve for B, since we can solve for B using this given, so we need to solve for C. And to solve for C, that center to focus. So therefore from the graph, 
So, center to focus. Again, we need to count. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, C is equal to 6. So, this time to solve for B using C, that C squared is equal to A squared minus B squared. Then, substitute now the values. So, for C, that's 6. This one is 6 squared equals A squared, that's 8 squared, then minus B squared. Then, this 6 squared is 36 equals this 8 squared, that's 64, then minus B squared. Then, transpose this negative B, that becomes positive B squared equals 64. Transpose that 36, that's negative 36. So, B squared is equal to, so 64 minus 36, that's 28. So, this time, since we have now the four values, the H, the K, the A squared, and the B squared, so we can write now the standard equation from this formula. So, we have x minus h, and h is negative 2, then to the power 2 over a squared and a squared, that's a squared, then plus y minus k, and k is negative 5, then to the power 2 over b squared and b squared, that's 28, then equals 1. Then simplify, so we have x, double negative, that's positive, so plus 2, then to the power 2, then over this h squared, that's 64. Then plus y, double negative, that's positive, so plus 5, then to the power 2 over 28, then equals 1. So this is now the standard equation of this ellipse.